welcome to this video and in this video I want to have a look at different wind speeds on planets in the solar system and identify the one that has the highest wind speed. Now interestingly it might not be the one that you think it is. So what we're going to do is start with the smallest one, Mercury, and then we're going to work our way up to the planet that has the highest wind speeds that we know about in the solar system at the moment. So Mercury doesn't really have an atmosphere. To create wind you really need an atmosphere. You can't have wind in a vacuum. Now Mercury doesn't really have an atmosphere but it does have an exosphere which is a very tenuous atmosphere made up of molecules and that, that are knocked off its surface by the solar wind. It's very tenuous so it has a, a very small amount of molecules, particles there but it's not a proper atmosphere so it's called an exosphere and that is then kind of lost into space as well so only some of it kind of stays around Mercury. So it doesn't have an atmosphere, we can't really talk about the wind speed there because of that, it doesn't really have wind, so to speak, that we're familiar with. Now if we then go to Mars, Mars is again a fairly small planet, but it does have an atmosphere. It, again, it's quite tenuous though, but it's enough to have things like dust storms that we can see. Also the animation here is showing some dust devils or like small tornadoes on the surface that have been captured by rovers. And in those dust storms, you can get up to about 70 miles per hour, so not particularly fast. Again, it's a fairly tenuous, small atmosphere, but it does have winds, and they've been measured up to around about 70 miles per hour. Then we're going to go to Venus. So Venus has the thickest atmosphere, or the most significant atmosphere, of the terrestrial planets. So the terrestrial planets are your inner ones, so Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, there are terrestrial planets or smaller kind of rocky ones and this has wind speeds up to about 220 miles per hour. So this is considerably more than Mars but it's still actually quite slow when we think about the one that has the lower or the highest wind speeds in the solar system but it also slowly rotates as well. So it's a very slow rotating planet but it does have wind speeds up to 220 miles per hour. Then we make our way to Earth. Now of all the terrestrial planets, this has the highest wind speeds known. So in the storms, like hurricanes, typhoons, that sort of thing, cyclones, you have wind speeds up to 250 miles per hour. So you can get gusts of wind in those storms up to 250 miles per hour. But actually, in some of the tornadoes, some of the really significant tornadoes, you can actually approach 300 miles per hour. So our upper limit to what we know, what we can get on Earth, is probably about 300 miles per hour. So again, that's greater than Venus, considerably more than Mars. Now we're going to move away from the terrestrial planets and then have a look at the larger outer planets. So you've got the four outer planets, you've got Jupiter, you've got Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These are much bigger, they have more significant atmospheres because they're kind of gas giants and they are predominantly made of gas, they have quite large atmospheres. As a result of that, their storms are bigger, they're larger, they're more powerful. So you're going to get higher wind speeds on them. So it's these four planets here where we're likely to see the highest wind speeds in the solar system. So what we're going to do, we'll start with Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet. Maybe you were thinking Jupiter, largest planet, largest atmosphere, maybe that's going to have the highest wind speeds. Well, that's not actually the case. So Jupiter's great red spot, which we're quite familiar with, it's a long-lived storm, massive storm that we've seen for a very long time, and it will probably last for a long time as well. The wind speeds in that are around about 400 miles per hour. So that is quite a bit more than Earth. So Earth was measured up to about 300. Jupiter's great red spot straight away, 400 miles per hour in that very large storm. But that's not where the highest wind speeds on Jupiter are. So around the poles, you have kind of these features like jet streams similar to Earth. These are where your highest wind speeds are. So at the poles, you can actually get speeds approaching 900 miles per hour. So that is considerably more than Earth, three times greater than we know we can get on Earth. And that's at the poles of Jupiter. Again, this is still not the highest wind speeds in the solar system. 
Now, if we go to Saturn, Saturn's the next one out and the next small or second largest, really. It has a ring as well, which we're quite familiar with. But Saturn has wind speeds that can approach 1,100 miles per hour. That's getting quite fast now. That's considerable wind you've got on that planet. Now, similar sort of idea. Saturn has these sort of jet streams as well, has storms on there, a bit like Jupiter. But the interesting feature that Saturn has is this hexagon like structure at one of the poles. It's a long lived structure that's created due to some of the jet streams, and you have some stable vortexes there that create these appearances of straight edges on there, which give the hexagon structure. It's been there for decades that we know about, at least. And wind speeds in and around that hexagon are around about 300 miles per hour, but it's elsewhere you're getting the 1,100 miles per hour on the planet. So we've got 1,100 so far, that's pretty high. Now, Uranus. The, the next one out actually has fairly low wind speed in comparison to the first two, Jupiter and Saturn, and they're up to about 560 miles per hour, so quite low really. But we have to also consider that we're getting further away from the sun now, so there's less sunlight reaching these planets, so they have less energy to power those particular storms if they do have any. But then we get to Neptune. Now Neptune is the furthest away, but it also has the fastest wind speeds known in the solar system. So they are over 1,200 miles per hour. And like Jupiter, it has a very large storm on there. So the great dark spot is where these greatest wind speeds have been measured. Really. And it's around the edge of that storm, you're getting over 1,200 miles per hour, even approaching 1,300 miles per hour. So this is where the greatest wind speeds are on Neptune. Again, it's the furthest planet from the, service, uh, from the sun. We wouldn't expect that. There's less energy from the sun to drive it. But much like Jupiter, Saturn and the other ones, you've got a difference really of wind speeds at different latitudes and this just kind of illustrates that really. And again this can relate to some, some of the storms really, you've got different wind speeds and that and that kind of relates to that. But anyway, why does Neptune have such powerful winds? And why does it have these storms? Because again, it's further away from the sun. Well, one of the thoughts really is that internal heat is driving these storms. It's not the energy from the sun, because again, it's a long way from the sun compared to the other planets. But there's some internal heat that is actually driving these powerful storms, which is given the high wind speed. Now, Neptune has an unusual amount of internal energy in comparison to some of the other planets. There's a kind of an excess there which is driving the storms, which is not necessarily known why it's there. And some thermal imaging of Neptune is shown on the right there over the years and how it's changing. So something's happening with Neptune internally, which is then driving these storms, but it also gives rise to our highest wind speeds in the solar system. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.